Hey guys, Lady Indigo here, and today we're going to be talking about pendulums. What are they? How do you use them? Stuff like that. Um, this is one of my many pendulums that I have. This wasn't my first to begin with, but you can see the tip's a little broken. But just because that happened doesn't mean it do he doesn't work that well. That doesn't mean with that at all. He still works pretty well, and he's one of my nicer pendulums in his demeanor. Yes, his demeanor. <laughs> I'll get into that. So, a pendulum, what can be used as a pendulum? Uh, it, basically a pendulum is anything with a weighted end with a string or thread at the end of it, as long as it's just one like this, and not like a necklace like this, because it just makes it harder to swing. Uh, so, it could be made out of a stone like this, cut any way as long as it's weighted down with a point of some sort or it can also be like a bead uh, it can also come down to it if you're just barely getting into it and you don't have enough money to get one of these or you just don't know where to get them or if you're just like I just want to do something quick well with that you can basically get thread any color and um, one needle as long as it has like a big enough hole so you're not like struggling to get that in and then you just uh, hold it like that tie end one down have one long thread and then cut off the thread and then hold it now how do you use a pendulum well you basically ask it a yes or no question but you might get more than just a yes or no answer what do I mean by this well what I mean is you'll get a yes possibility, a no possibility, a possibility that it doesn't know because it doesn't have enough information, or yes, no, doesn't know, doesn't want to answer because it just doesn't want to touch that right now because let's face it, some questions you just don't want to, just want to be like, no, hold up. <laughs> uh, other times you'll get a maybe, yeah, a maybe because it'll depend on either the effort you put in in the future or what you're going to be doing later on like there's too many x and y factors going on if you get what I mean so um, how do you use a pendulum? well you basically hold it like so but you, there's more than one way to hold it eyes sorry about that my eyes guys <laughs> gonna get it fixed soon um, so you can hold it like this with the slack kind of down with a little bit of slack and then the rest just down to the pendulum or you can hold it like this with no slack at the end of the ball well this is a ball but like the end of the line and then hold it like that like so Oop, can I get it? there we go and then it'll start swinging on its own now, what do you do before you use the pendulum? I would usually cleanse it. There's many ways to cleanse. Um, you can basically get like pink Himalayan salt. That's the kind of salt I use because it's like one of the... How do I say this? It's one of those salts that's like... It has like upped... It basically ups the ante with like protection stuff and also healing and that's what it's associated with because it's pink Himalayan. But you can also use like regular sea salt from like um, the kind that you get at the grocery store. Sea salts are usually better with protection stuff because they're crystals in themselves. So put a crystal with other crystals, what does it do? It absorbs the energy and dispels any negative energy on it. That or you can also, excuse me, you can also grab incense or um, depending on the um, crystal or basically the material it's made out of, you can basically put water onto it, purified water. You can do that easily with uh, mixing salt and lemon juice and the water in together and basically going like this on it, like dipping your hand into it and then sprinkling it on. That's what I use to purify some things depending on the chemical composition because let's face it you don't want to have a selenite pendulum and then put water on it because 
the water is gonna disintegrate the selenite. You gotta check for chemical compositions and stuff like that because you don't want to mess up your nice things. Anyway, how do you use these things? Well, I got into the holding positions, but after you, uh, before you use it, you purify it, and then you hold it however make you feel however it makes you feel comfortable. So, I hold mine like so, and then what do I do? I ask it yes or no questions. Um, will I stop blinking so much soon? Yes. How can I tell if something's saying yes or no? It'll, you can ask it uh, to show you yes, no, maybe, and all the other answers. That's what I did with all my pendulums. And frankly, that really helped out because I just wrote it down and then I just memorized it according to my pendulum. And after you get all that memorized, you can start to build a relationship with your pendulum itself. Uh, I believe in animism, which is the belief that even inanimate objects, such as a pendulum, has a soul of its own. And especially when it comes to this thing, it talks back, but not as sassy as my clear quartz. Oh yeah, my clear quartz is pretty sassy. Um, this one uh, has a very nice demeanor. I think it's because it's a heart chakra related stone. And my other pendulum I got from my mentor, which I do not use because I think it still has a spirit in it, but uh, I gotta purify it, that's on me. <laughs> so um, that's how you use a pendulum. Uh, something I'm gonna get into is um, making a board with letters on it. Not a board, but like a piece of paper and putting letters on it. Because I named each one, every one of my pendulums, but I forgot what it was because it's been so long. So, um, I'm just gonna do that for myself. On a lighter note, have fun with your pendulum and remember to purify before you start using it, okay? Okay. Well, catch you later.